Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, October 3rd, 2011. How are ya? How's it going? You hear that echo? Echo! Yo! Woo! Um, I'm in a new place. I moved. No more angry old guy beneath me. I'm in a new place, and uh, it's sparsely furnished. I'm sitting in an old chair, so it's going to be creaking a little bit during the podcast. I actually got out of it because I just realized that sonically that could be a little annoying. Um, yeah, moved to a new place. A little bigger, a little better, right? The American dream still existing, you know? Instead of taking giant leaps, you take little steps, little baby steps. Ooh, look at that. The kitchen's a, it's about six inches bigger. Um, no, I'm psyched. First time in my fucking life I don't have some cunt living below me or above me. So you know what that means. All I got to do is piss off my neighbors and I think I'll be all right. No, we got, we got a nice place. So we're psyched. My girl's happy, which is a great thing. As a guy, you know that's a great thing. You know, you get something new and shiny. And what are they, And then they're happy. And then your life is great. That's all you want. You just want them to be happy. Maybe if they're happy, they'll stop fucking bitching at me. Stop going. Maybe that'll stop. You know? But you know how broads are. You know how they are. No matter how cool they are, how fucking hot they are, eventually they find something. Eventually they find something, you know, and you're sitting there and you're listening to them talking and you're nodding, you're nodding your head, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll work on that, yeah, definitely I'll work on that. And in your head, you're just sitting there going like, really? Really? It's fucking unreal. I swear to God. I swear to fucking God. I was talking to Paul Verzi about this the other day. We were on the phone joking about this shit, going, I bet Donald fucking Trump gets nagged, you know, sitting there looking out the fucking helicopter window that has his goddamn name on it, right, and his fucking wife is probably sitting next to him, if he's even married, whatever, his fucking girlfriend, he likes those Transylvania hotties, that Ulga kind of chicks, whatever, (laughs) he's just staring out the window of his fucking chopper, right? Just fucking sitting there, shaking his head. You know, whole head moving, toupee, sitting still. You know, right on top of his head, on a swivel. Right? And she's just fucking sitting there nagging him. You know, I just thought you could have been a little more social. It's like, I was having, those are my friends, okay? Those are my friends. Those people are important to me. The same way you are, okay? You have to accept all of me. Donald, stop looking at your skyscrapers. I'm talking to you here. This is us, okay? I hear just, ooh, you're the Don. You have a hit show, okay? This is us, okay? This is your foundation. Well, I don't feel like you're listening to me because I'm staring at the back of your orange hair, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I know hair is sensitive to you. It's just I'm, I'm, I'm emotional right now. And I, 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 and I felt that when I was going to invite my friends over, and you were right? And then they go into that shit, right? Now, here's a little quiz for you, fellas. Why did that fictitious bitch start crying in that fictitious monologue? Why did she cry? I'll give you a couple seconds to come up with it. Was it because she was really sad? I feel like I'm giving a lecture right now. This is really sending my ego through the fucking roof. Why did she cry? Was it because she felt like he didn't love her? Was it because she was truly upset that he wasn't nice to her friends? Or was it because she took the argument to a place where she knew she was wrong by bringing up his fucked up hair? That's what it was. So then she just, oh my God, I'm going to start losing this. So then they immediately go to the tears. That's what they do. They're terrible, awful, living things with a vagina. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyways, but I'm not kidding about why she cried. All right. So there it is. So that's what you have to do as a guy. You have to assess why is she crying? Am I being a dick? If you're being a dick and she starts crying, that's when you go in and you hold them and you tell them you're sorry. 
all right, and say, please don't cry. But if it's got nothing to do with fucking anything, it's just, it's just a manipulative technique to make you feel like, a, like you're the Hulk, you know, when you're screaming in their face. All right? So you don't always have to go in for the hug. You don't always have to do it. Just stand back and assess the situation like one of them fucking coordinators on the sidelines. <laughs> 